Hey everyone, it's Keith here again. We're on lesson 22 of our 30 songs in 30 days. And today we're going to cover another track off of my Fuse album. This one is called Somewhere in My Car. Now the song's really only one progression, so I'm betting we can pick this one up pretty quick. For Somewhere in My Car, today we're going to use uh, the capo. And we're going to put it on the third fret. One, two, three, right there. Now if you find any footage of me playing this song live, um, You'll notice I don't have a capo, uh, but that's because my the guitar I use is tuned differently and I'm playing in a different chordal position entirely. So just for simplicity for today, this is a good way to do it. Capo third fret, and then we're gonna be in G. Now when I'm calling out the chord shapes today, don't forget it's relative to where the capo is. So if I'm saying G, C, D, G, it's relative to the capo being on a third fret. Now this song has an intro, a verse, a pre-chorus, a chorus, and a solo section. But as I said, they all use the same chord progression. So here we go. So we've got our capo on the third fret, and the first chord's gonna be four beats of C. One, two, three, four, G for four beats. One, two, three, four, E minor for four beats. D for four beats. And that's really the intro of the song. If you want, you can just sort of strum it. And if you want, you can even arpeggio it a little bit too, if you want. Like... This is the gist of how the song will go when, you, when you're singing along with it. It'll be like... Driving home tonight, catching no red lights. That's all right, cause I don't want to be alone. There's nobody waiting there, quoting them deep end. Words I wish I'd said come on the radio. And then we're at the pre chorus at this point. So it's going to be C, ooh, E minor. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself, to the D. Now see what we're doing here is we're staying on this E minor just a little bit longer than we did before. So again, the pre-chorus. To D. Same thing again. Ooh. I know you is someone else, D. And then we're at the chorus. So we're at the chorus, and you'll notice that the chorus chord progression is the same as the verse, not the pre-chorus, because that's got that extra E minor thing. This is the same as the verse. In my mind, was somewhere in my car. To the E minor. The street light glow, got your lips on mine. Celine on fire, G. It's the same chord progression. E minor, D. Keep it going. Fingertips side and down my back. Just keeps repeating. You got it, E minor, D. Second verse, it's the same thing again. One of the things to keep in mind about this song is, although the chord progression is pretty much the same cycling around between the verse and the chorus, the pre-chorus is a little different because you've got an, an extra four beats of E minor. Uh, otherwise, it's the same chord progression. So what you'll notice is the thing that kind of separates it is rhythmic patterns, different from the verse to the chorus, and then particularly the solo. You're doing these jabbed sort of rhythmic things. So these are the chords for the solo. It's the same as the verse. It's the same as the chorus. That's the chords for the solo. But all you're going to do is you're just going to go Three, four, three, four. That's what you're gonna do. So it's the same chords, you're just changing up the rhythm. And when you listen to the record, you can hear how that's being played. But the chords are the same. So it's one of those interesting things when you're writing songs that you don't always have to keep changing chords. You can find rhythmic changes 
to separate all these different sections. And like the other songs, if you think about it in terms of sections, you've got the intro, then you've got a verse, then you've got a pre-chorus, then a chorus, another verse, a pre-chorus, a chorus, then you've got your solo. And last we close with the chorus and our intro as our outro. So the song just plays out the way we started. Same chord progression over and over. Hey y'all, this is Somewhere in My Car. Good job, guys.
I know why I 